10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Vehicle switching down range. M1D performance is nominal. Lift off for Falcon 9 from pad 39A power and telemetry nominal. at Kennedy Space Center. There we just heard that power and telemetry is nominal. Moments ago, we began to throttle the nine Merlin engines that you Not see. One. They're propelling the first stage through the atmosphere. We began to throttle them down in preparation for max Q, also known as the max Q. All right, there we heard the call out. The vehicle just went through the moment in which it experiences the greatest aerodynamic pressure. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. All right, on your screen there, we have visual confirmation of MVAC those three events. Started. MVAC is fairing separation confirmed. There on your screen, we now see those 60 Starlink satellites. Those fairings will make their way back to Earth as well. Like I mentioned before, uh, we won't be able to bring live coverage of the recovery attempt for those fairings as they'll be happening after we close our webcast. So be sure to check in on our social media accounts for updates on that. Second stage telemetry looks good. Everything is nominal there. Now as it heads towards its targeted drop off orbit, like I mentioned before, first stage will be performing two burns, the first being the entry burn where three of the M1D engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. About two minutes later, the second stage will happen, or excuse me, the, the second burn will happen, and that is the landing burn. And this is where a single engine will reignite and bring the vehicle speed down rapidly as it prepares to land The, the 60 Starlink satellites that we have on board today, second stage continues to look good. Nominal orbital insertion. All right, and there we just heard the call out for good orbit for second stage. So at this point, stage two is going to coast in this orbit for just a few minutes. Stage one, entry burn startup. So there we have visual confirmation that the first of two burns, the entry burn, has begun. And this will last for about another five seconds. Stage one, entry burn, shutdown. All right, shutdown of those, again, that was performed with three engine, three engines. The next Stage event Stage one, entry transonic. Both vehicles continue following fall on all trajectories. Stage one, landing burn, start up. All right, we heard the call out that the landing burn for stage one has begun. This will last about 20 seconds. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one, landing leg deploy.
So at this point, stage two is going to coast in this orbit for just a few minutes. During this time, it will start to spin along its central axis, giving the Starlink satellites the momentum that they need to deploy and space themselves out over time after deployment. All right, visual confirmation hey, there firm. that this booster has landed for a second time. There we see a live shot from our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, I still love you. Hear the clapping and celebration of some of our first shift technicians here in the building. <laughs> second stage continues to look good. Nominal orbital. Starlink deploy confirmed. There on your screen, we see the Starlink satellites have deployed and using the momentum that they got from the slight spin around uh, about the central axis. What a beautiful sight. Shortly, these satellites will deploy their solar arrays, and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves out from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to operational orbit. And with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. If you're interested in getting future news about our Starlink service, head on over to starlink.com and sign up for updates.